welcome Gemini. We're doing your October 2024 tarot forecast. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, love your support. If you do enjoy my readings, make sure to subscribe to my channel, show the love, hit that like button and the notification bell so you get notified when your next star sign readings up on my channel. Now, we do have a competition running in October. It is a new competition, so different way of entering. There will be two personal readings up for grabs, one for those that subscribe. So those that subscribe during the month from when this video is released to the end of the month will automatically go in the draw. You don't need to do anything else. The other personal reading will be for a very positive community member that stands out during the month. Again, you don't have to put any comments in terms of entering the competition. Uh, you will be automatically entered, yeah? The winner will be drawn at the end of the month and announced at the beginning of the following month in November. And you'll be winning a one-hour pre-recorded personal reading with me where I meditate on your energy, check your Akashic record, your past life information, as well as answer your most burning questions with the tarot and the oracle. They're deeply transformational, so good luck, everyone. And my readings are open if you do need extra guidance and support at this time. The booking link is on here and down below. Let's dive in. So, Gemini, pulling your essential energy from the heart and soul oracle, and let's see what you need to know. really thinking about it oh there we go oh you got the sun reflecting off the water there oh it says you're afraid to let go of something that's no longer working for you there is a deep sense of duty or guilt and you feel like you don't have a choice the reality is that you do and ultimately doing what you know feels right in your heart will be the best for all concerned wow so some of you need to make a decision or a choice Let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Then we'll pull lots of clarifiers. Oh, yeah, wow. Spirit is saying there's something you need to release. Definitely. It's coming through strongly. Something no longer working for you. Oh, look, it could be all sorts of things. Some of you, it could be a job that you've just had enough of. Uh -huh. I mean, it's obviously related to someone else because you've obviously got to get some, give someone some news that it's no longer working for you. And in terms of your physical health and well-being, so we're saying you're going to thrive. So some of you are overcoming injury or illness, feeling like you've got more energy. Some of you may be on a bit of a health kick. There's two here. Oh, it's time to take time out and pleasure. So there's a beauty of nature there on your time off and embracing life so it's almost like some of you want to free yourself from something that feels like it's been a heavy burden and when you do it's like you're gonna have a big burden lifted off your shoulders yeah you're gonna feel so much lighter wow let's pull you some spiritual guidance sometimes we just need to be really honest with ourselves yeah Oh, you've got the sacred orchard. She's holding on to a golden apple, which is you co-creating the uni with the universe what you want to create in your life. So you're taking action towards your goals and dreams. So there's another message shelling through here. So if you're holding yourself stuck and you, you're going to, you're telling everyone around you that you're stuck, you're not stuck, right? Spirit's saying you've got the, Everything within you to move yourself out of a situation and do what you want to do. So don't use the excuse that you're stuck. Mm -hmm. You've pulled the awakener, which is you rising out of the ashes, mm -hmm. like the golden sun. Isn't that interesting, that card in the centre had the sun on it. So you have the ability to overcome any obstacle in your life. Mm. And you've got the lost star. Some of you going through rebirth. It says out of the darkness and into the light. So you've definitely been through something that's kind of put you in your shadow side or it's felt really challenging or heavy, yeah? Oh, and you've got the star daughters. Spirit is saying connect with your friendships, whether you're a guy or a girl, yeah? 
I sing, dance and play with my sisters at sunset. All right, let's put you some clarifiers with the energy oracle. Let's have a look at you releasing whatever you need to release and co-creating with the universe. Mm, it's directly related to your coin, guy or girl, right? Creating financial security and stability in your life. Mm, it's very saying you to trust your intuition to guide you. You know what to do. You know what you want to do. Whatever you do, Spirit's saying, you've got to be in balance. When you make decisions, be in balance, right? Don't come from a place of shadow side. Uh, making rash decisions, be in balance. Let's have a look at you thriving. Okay. Some of you are at a crossroads. Do I go left? Do I go right? State of indecision. can't stay there, Spirit's saying, because it's holding you back from opening up your door to your money. Mm -hmm. It's sitting directly under your intuition. When you trust yourself, your door to money is going to open. Yeah, you've got to watch your emotions and what you're saying to yourself. You've got your sacral chakra there, sitting under balance. Let's have a look at this indecision. Oh, Spirit's saying, whenever you're feeling like that, step back. You're overthinking things and have some rest, right? You're winding yourself up for no good reason. <laughs> yes. Let's have a look at you taking time out and pleasure and you rising out of the ashes, overcoming any obstacle in your life. Oh, you've got deceit here. Are you deceiving yourself? Mm -hmm. oh, you've got deceit, then you've got yin and yang, which is you've got to be in balance, and then you've got lack, envy coming out here. Oh, Gemini, you've so got to watch your self-talk and your emotional states. Let's have a look at this deceit. Mm. I'm going to give you a couple of messages. So if it's related to someone else, Spirit's saying you've got to speak your truth and speak up for yourself, right? There's the throat chakra. If it's related to you, stop telling stories that are disempowering, right? And face the truth about your life and yourself right? You've got to be very conscious of the, your communication to yourself. Mm -hmm. Any other guidance there? Yeah. You've got financial constraints here. So if you're saying, okay, I'm stuck and I can't do anything to fix my finances, I've tried everything. Well, you can't because you're still experiencing financial constraints, right? You haven't tried everything. You need to take a different approach or you need to be more honest with yourself about your finances. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm, right now you're on a journey of transformation. Some of you may also want to take a trip, but your finances are holding you back. Spirit's saying if that's the case, just be honest with the people who are asking you and say, I don't have the money for it right now. I can't afford it right now. Particularly if you're in a state where if you did take that trip and you put it on a credit card or something else, it's just going to put you in more debt. Just be honest, Spirit's saying. Be honest. Let's have a look at this lack going on. Okay. you got man holding a heart here. Some of you want love. So yearning for love, feeling like it's missing from your life. Mm. You've got the angel of love here. They want to give you love, darling. So, again, you've got to come from a place of attracting, not chasing. Got to watch that you're not trying to fill a void. Because when we come from a place of filling a void, we'll latch on to anyone that comes into our life that gives us affection and attention, right? There's a lot here, Gemini. You've got to balance yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's have a look at you going through this rebirth, which, darlings, it seems to be very necessary right now. Yeah, when you go through this rebirth and balance yourself, you've got a beautiful caring connection here, a beautiful love. And if you're in a connection already, it's going to really um, benefit this connection when you're balanced, right? You've got blossoming abundance here. So making any changes, you're going to see signs that it's working. It's going to take a little time. Yeah, there's a big focus on your sense of security and there's the root chakra. 
let's have a look at your embracing life now nature's free darlings right there's no reason why you can't get out in nature hmm. you got community your friendships are coming out again very important for you to spend some time with your friends it's very saying if you did some journaling that would really help get to the bottom of the anxiety and the lack going on within you right why is it coming up for you what are you saying to yourself that's reinforcing lack in your life what are you saying to yourself that make that creates a state of feeling stuck right what a disempowering things are you saying to yourself or disempowering stories are you telling yourself mm -hmm. you also need a plan and a strategy a different approach to move yourself forward mm -hmm. Mm. you got the temple path here. The angels and your spirit guides are watching over you. Some of you are doing more around your spiritual side. Let's have a look at you connecting with your friends. Oh, when you do, the sun's going to come out. Beautiful positive shift in energy. It's going to make you really happy. Okay, and here's the storm warning. <laughs> Oh, such contrasting energy. Oh, it's you holding yourself back. So if you've got invitations and friends are trying to get you out of the house and you're going, I can't come because of X, Y, Z, you're holding yourself there deliberately, darlings. Spirit's saying you need to rise above it and get in your higher vibration, your crown chakra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of you have been through a broken heart. Okay, you've been through a broken heart, but your friends want you to come out, right? Come out of hermit mode. Come outside and play. <laughs> yes. Spirit's saying it's the end of that chapter. Close the door on it. Open up the door and get some fresh air. The start of a brand new life chapter for you. It's a time of growth. Growth wants to happen for you. So when we when we hold ourselves stuck by the disempowering stories and things we tell ourselves, you are unwilling to change and grow. Do I need to repeat that? You're making a con conscious choice that you are unwilling to change your circumstances and grow. Why? Because you've got to actually take some action and get out of your comfort zone. Often what sits under that? Fear. Darling, have you come here for a kick butting exercise? Spirit is kicking your butt. I'm kicking your butt. Come on. Oh, there's a song called Rise, which I love, and it's almost like it doesn't matter what you throw at me in life, I'm going to rise above it, yeah? Rise, rise, rise. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Let's have a look at you needing to release things that are holding you stuck, mostly things that you're saying to yourself in your emotional state. So you're saying you just got to bring yourself into balance. When you trust yourself, your door to money is going to open. Yeah, you just got to get really honest with yourself. What are you passionate about? If you don't know, journal it out. What makes you happy? What would make you happy? Absolutely got to watch your energy levels and your emotions and step back when you're out of balance. Mm. There's a focus on the home right now. So. I don't know if you want to do your home up, make changes to your home. Are you feeling insecure around your home? Or are you just being a little homebody, right? Not coming out. <laughs> Spirit's saying you're extra sensitive right now. So vulnerable and sensitive. So we've got to manage our emotional sensitivity and recognize when we're in that state. I have done an ebook and a masterclass on emotional sensitivity, including emotional triggers is another one. Be really good for you to check that out if that message resonates with you. Mm, Spirit's saying whatever's coming up from you is coming up from the past, right? It's old stuff that you're recycling through. Mm -hmm. And when you trust yourself, there's a golden opportunity coming in. It's going to bring a lot more money when it comes to career. Mm. You've just got to be bold, take risks, and move yourself forward. Uh, you've got Mother Earth here. So some of you would like to do something to protect Mother Earth, Mother Nature, animals. Again, it's about getting out in nature. Oh, another message you're transforming right now. Mm -hmm. 
Everything's trying to get you to grow, darling. <laughs> Stop resisting it. Oh, let's have a look at you going through a rebirth. Spirit, you know what happens, darlings? If you don't decide to actively grow and transform and learn from whatever experiences you've gone through, Spirit is going to give you one big lesson after the other. That is going to be so much more challenging than what you've been through. Why? Because you're not listening. Mm -hmm. Then they'll just sweep stuff out of your life really dramatically. <laughs> Better off to do the transformation yourself. Oh, this side's so much about you getting to the bottom of why you're stuck. Mm -hmm. And really, these friends so want to connect with you. There is a beautiful love here. Oh, it's really saying perfect time to kick off any new ideas or projects you have, changes you want to make. And to be very kind and gentle with yourself as well as others. Yeah, you need to come into a place of peace, right? Inner peace. All right, let's put you some healing messages. Boy, do you need them. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> oh, Spirit's saying your ancestors are absolutely watching over you at this time. From the other side. So we're saying when you have a look at your life and do your gratefulness practices, what's working well in your life, what you're grateful for, it's going to shift your mindset from scarcity to knowing that there are blessings in your life. Mm. Success is there waiting for you, my loves, but you've just got to have the courage to go through the growth phase you're going through right now that wants to happen for you. And regularly ground your energy. This is why Mother Nature's coming out. Feed on Mother Earth. Out in nature would be really good for you. Let's pull you some tarot guidance. Hmm. You got the Queen of Earth, right? So this is representing your energy. So very wanting to be very practical and sensible when it comes to your finances and home, yeah? You want to feel stable and secure. Mm. But you also want to make changes and take a leap of faith on the new. So there's two aspects to that. As humans, you know, part of our happiness is having that sense of stability and security, whether it's to do with our home, our finances, relationships. The other thing that makes us happy is uncertainty and variety because otherwise we can be bored stupid right <laughs> so you've got to balance the two some of you want a brand new fresh start mm -hmm. yeah and here you are the king of air emotionally unavailable right which is really being stuck in your emotional side Darlings, there's the one of earth here. There is a windfall of abundance or a lucrative contract open to you. I'm going to give you this message. If this is how you're going to be, you're going to completely block what wants to come to you. In fact, you're not even going to be in its energy field or on its radar. Mm -hmm. You need to shift your energy because this is what's what wants to happen for you. There's also a home in the background. And you've got the moon here. I've got to say it's come out for just about most signs. There's going to be some, there must be, I haven't looked them up, darlings. Normally I do look them up. There must be some significant lunar aspects happening this month. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you out a little bit out of whack. Again, well, I mean, when we ever pull the moon, it's about trusting our intuition, what's right for us. Let's put some guidance from the uh, messenger oracle. Oh, Spirit's saying you're born to create. There's a dragon here holding an egg with gold light emanating out of it. So you have the ability to create your own abundance flows if you choose. Hmm. You've got to observe in silence. So this is... Why is this coming out? Mm. 
Okay. You know what I feel like, darlings? This is you just sitting there watching and not taking action. <laughs> what I feel. The Spirit's saying you've got to make the sacrifice and put the hard work in and move yourself forward. If you want change, you've got to make it happen and heed your dreams. So you get may get messages in your dreams about your path. Yeah. Mm. And nurture all you love. That's the people most important to you because we've got being emotionally distant here. Don't be emotionally distant in your relationships when you're feeling out of whack, right? Step back and rejuvenate yourself and then come back into your relationships. Like, don't leave them. I'm just talking like go and have a nana nap or something and then come out in a better mood. Because mm -hmm. you've got a new day dawning, brand new fresh start wanting to happen in your life. Yeah, Spirit's saying you've got to wash away your burdens, release the stress, the anxiety, the worry you've put yourself in. Oh, Gemini. Let's see what your animal spirit guides want you to know. Mm, you're the wombat spirit, be at home. Perhaps some of you have been overdoing it and you just want to lay around the house and <laughs> be comfortable there. Maybe you just need some family time at home, some quiet time. You've got the giraffe spirit. You've got to see the big picture. So don't get bogged down in anxiety and worry. Rise above it. Mm, you pulled two foxes out. You pulled another fox. I mean, foxes often represent sly things going on, but it says you're going to need to think on your feet. So something may come in quickly which may take you off guard a little bit, particularly an opportunity, and Spirit's saying you're going to have to respond to it reasonably quickly. Oh, and you've got the otter spirit. It's saying you're never alone. So if you're feeling lonely and you want to fill a void, Spirit's saying you're not alone, right? Oh, I love this. You've got the eagle spirit. It says Spirit has your back. They're watching over you. All right, let's put your crowning energy from the Pegasus Oracle. Oh, you've got the blue Pegasus of the open sky. Very beautiful energy, very soft energy. Let's pull you up the guidance, Gemini. You ready? It says. Free-spirited soul guardian Pegasus brings sky blue light to the throat chakra. This process may give rise to soul memories from this or any lifetime of being silenced, deceived, misunderstood or pressured to deny your truth. This healing will encourage you to release any pain of these experiences and reclaim your freedom, your choice and your creative self-expression. You may need to clear that which does not resonate at a frequency compatible with your truth may take courage but you have the strength and will to benefit from aligning yourself more deeply with your soul the gifts that emerge from this healing are a clear sense of life direction the ability to speak and act upon your truth with love and reclaiming your freedom to live authentically irrespective of whether or not another may understand or support your choices your throat chakra is now blessed this enhances your ability to be decisive without acting rashly, to be patient rather than procrastinating, and to sense your natural soul rhythms and divine timing. You are encouraged to use the power of your voice to call upon, activate, and express loving, helpful spiritual energies. At a soul level, you're understanding and claiming the healing, manifesting power of sound. Speak and sing about that which you wish to bring about. Freedom from the past will unleash your creativity and self-expression. You can now lay any ghosts of the past completely to rest. A revelation of truth will soon unveil the higher divine order in chaos. An expansion of your spiritual horizons is imminent. So you need to be really truthful with yourself and others, Gemini. Hmm? So doubly important if you feel like you've been silenced when you grow up. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a pattern you're used to. So holding yourself back versus that fear of expressing yourself, either for the repercussions of expressing yourself or fearing the reaction you're going to get Yeah, when you do. 
you got to feel safe in that space of communication. Wow. Oh, my loves, that was full on, full on. Uh -huh. Let me know how it resonated for you in the comments down below. Do reach out if you feel like you need extra guidance and support at this time with a personal reading. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Thank you.